Hi guys, how are you doing? It's a beautiful Friday morning. It's beautiful unlike my hair right now, which is kind of dry and kind of crispy and kind of post-holiday. But that's about to get sorted because I'm going to go see Remington from Edwards & Co in Surrey Hills and he's hands down the best in Sydney. He has just got this amazing magical sense of how to do hair. It was bloody hot yesterday in Sydney and today it's kind of cool so I'm wearing my beautiful scarf, beautiful Hermes scarf. So let's get this sorted. As you can see there's the extensions, they still look pretty good but I kind of just want them to look better and more zhuzhed. Guys, look at the salon. Wow. Guys, this salon is so pretty. It's insane. So today, hmm, we're gonna be sorting out all of this. As you can see, my actual hair and the extensions are struggling, but it's gonna be fine. Remington can fix anything. The look today is a scarf, a trench, and some Stuart Weissmans. So guys, I'm just done and this is the finished product. How good is the lighting here too? I am so, so, so in love with what Remington can do. He's an absolute hair master. So this is Edwards and Co in Surrey Hills. And uh, speechless. Mm -hmm. Hello my love, so what I thought I would do is do my makeup in front of you. A few of you have asked me for my makeup routine on the daily and I'm just going out to a meeting and I've got fresh, fre bleh, fresh face on. So I thought I would do that. It is a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. Do you want to see? I think you want to see how beautiful it is. Look at that. Look at that view. Wow. The blue, blue sky and the blue, blue water. Anyway, back onto the makeup. Um, I thought I would, I actually brought all my makeup down to the living room because my dressing room's got the worst lighting, but not to worry, I ordered a ring light just for you guys. I ordered a ring light because I'm always trying new products and it's just so easy to whack the camera on and let you know about them. You guys know I normally use La Prairie for my face cream, sometimes La Mer as well, but today I thought I would try the new Nivea Urban Skin Defense. I went to their event. I thought it'd be nice to try it out. I really, really love a moisturizing gel style cream. So let's try that out as our base. It's got a really, really, really moisturizing and absorbent consistency. Remember to push the face up, everybody. We don't want to push the face down. That would be completely counterproductive, she said, pushing her face down. Anyway, so that's the moisturizer for today. It's got SPF 15 in it, and it's already starting to absorb. I'm not going to use a primer because I believe one of the top ingredients in this is glycerin, which is basically a sugar as far as I know, which will make the makeup stick. So it kind of serves the same purpose. No need to do the same job twice. So my basic routine, I do this most days when I'm going out, when I'm talking to the camera, this is the thing that I do. So first, I use the professional for my nose pores and over here because guys, those pores are not tiny. You know what I mean? I um, have combination skin, oh hello, and I think it's good to fill the pores and smooth them out with a product like this because then the foundation does not fall into your pores. By the way, if I'm looking here, that is because I have a mirror so I can do precise, precise precision. Oh my God, you know when um, I went to see Remington the other day, he told me stop pushing the product into your hairline, otherwise it's so hard to stay blonde. I was like, oh my God, but how am I gonna blend it? I am using La Prairie. Oh, foundation at the moment it is the best the best foundation and it's got at the top a concealer and in here it's got the actual foundation and a spoolie like this and I'm panicking because I feel like it's gonna end soon so I just put it on my cheeks on my chin we need a bit more darling on the forehead I kind of blend it up towards my nose but I'll do that and always remember on the neck because you know you don't want to have white neck or whatever color neck you've got in comparison to your face. 
I then use a beauty blender. This is my favorite way to blend foundation in. I just find it really, really seamless. But the trick is, and I'm surprised that a lot of people don't know, is that you wet the beauty blender completely under the tap and then you wring it out like a sponge. And so it's a damp beauty blender and uh, off you pop. Because I try, used to try and use it dry. Girl, let me tell you, it's like completely counterproductive. So now that I use it slightly damp, it is a winner winner chicken dinner. So it's the best way to just press the foundation in. And as you can see, I'm just dabbing it in. It is a Sunday today. The whole of Australia has got a long weekend. So what they're doing is getting drunk and being out on boats and in bars and all over the shop. But I've got a business meeting today, which is exciting for me. That is the equivalent of a party. I love... This is a bad time to talk when I'm blending my neck. One second. So this is the foundation just pushed in with the Beauty Blender. So, so far we've used the La Prairie and we've used the Beauty Blender and now I'm going to go in and I'm going to conceal some of the areas that I want to keep not as red. Got a little blemish here. And I'm just going to press that in as well. You can use uh, the concealer at the top under your eyes as well. Perfectly well. No problem with that. But at the moment, I am using the Tarte Shape Tape, which is available for all of you lucky ducks in America. So I really like to highlight my face like this. I'm putting that light concealer a few shades lighter than your face. And off you go. Not joking. You blend it in. Now, this shape tape has got a really, really beautiful blendability. It um, really goes into your pores, so it creates a amazing um, shape to your face because what I'm trying to do is highlight the bits that I want to stick out and then I'm going to go in and uh, darken these parts to create a beautiful shape to your face, high cheekbones and all of that. So this is the concealer blended in. So we've got the canvas popping. The face is good to go. So what I want to do is I want to get the Huda Beauty um, sugar cookie and easy baking loose powder. And um, you open this little product and you keep hold of your beauty blender, which is the only brush you've used so far. And as you can see, all this powder wafts up. So I go in there and I just layer the powder under my eye and what I'm going to do is I'm not going to keep it there but because Australia is kind of it's not hot but you know it's sunny at the moment I don't want my makeup to leak off my face I really really like to set my makeup under my nose especially and I put that powder on under my eye and I just leave it there while I do my eye makeup so that if any fallout happens, I can swipe it straight off. Let's get onto the eye makeup, which is what a lot of people ask me and tell me that they like to see. So I'm just going to squish forward and I'm going to show you what I use. As you can see, it's very, very used, this palette, because I love it. It's absolutely fan Debbie dozy It's fantastic. So it's a light and shade eye palette by Kat Von D. You can't even read that because I've used it so much. And it's obvious to see which shade is my favorite here. So I go in with a Sephora brush. It's a blending eyeshadow brush. And I just get some of that light bone colored color on my brush. And I put it on my eyelid. That's what I do. There it goes. Onto my eyelid. I'm literally showing you what I do. I'm not a makeup artist, guys. You know that. I am a beauty, beauty lover. I love my skincare, I love my fashion, and I love makeup too. So I'm just gonna show you what I do. So I've highlighted the eyelid. And if you want, you can put some under your brow bone too. Nothing wrong with a bit of that. I grab the Morphe M518. I will try and link all of these things in the description box if you so choose to get them. And I go into this shade up here, it's like a peachy shade. Peachy, peachy shade. Who knows what it's called? Anyway, get a peach shade if you get this palette, the one up there. And you are going to literally... Now, watch this, guys. Contour here. A bit on the eye, and then around. A bit on the eye, 
and then around. It creates this really pretty shape. And this is the thing that I do at the end, as the product is uh, almost finished on the brush, is I go a bit under the eye. Because people forget the under eye, and you don't want to do that. You don't want to leave the under eye all lonely. Again, a bit. And on the other side, we're just creating that dimension, you know? We're, we're shading and we're lighting. Kat Von D is a tattoo artist um, and an amazing makeup creator, but this is why she understands the concept of light and shade really well, because tattoo work is all about shading. So as you can see, that peach color is an interesting transition color. If you like a cat eye, you go up a little bit like this. It's interesting, but it creates a dimension. Uh, people just go in with a dark color or with um, some ambiguous color, but you need a transition shade. So now we've got that peach color in there. So back into the palette. Now this might surprise you, right? But um, I like to go into this kind of auburn ready shade here. It's like a brick color. This brush is the Morphe M441. And I put a touch of that on there, go right on the corner. And what I do is I just dab, dab, dab on the corner like this. And you can see the product is going on there, but I'm not blending it yet. And then I start to slowly start to blend around and around and around and up into a cat eye shape. And the dogs are barking at the neighbor's house. And then a little bit into the crease. And what it creates is a feeling of a shadow. Sometimes I grab the brush that I originally used the first time and go over the top and just smooth it out. That is the eye. I'm gonna show you how I do my wing before I complete this side because why are we all gonna sit here watching me for no reason? I grab the Morphe M508 and the palette again, guys, the palette again, and I go into this gray brown color right here this gray brown color. You can use any color you like. And this is the way I do my eye. It's unconventional, so get ready. I hold it and I go in from the bottom with this little brush and I do a wing from the bottom because I find it very, very easy to draw a straight line from the bottom of my eye going out. This is just the shape of my eye. I find that very, very easy. As you can see, it just goes up, right? A lot of people start the wing from the top, but you're going to have to go along your eye shape and figure out what that wing is gonna look like here. You've already got a base of what you're gonna do. So we're gonna dip into the color again. We're gonna go straight at the top and we're just gonna join it. I like my wing to start from the middle because I don't want the whole eye to be um, winged. I like it to have that lightness at the front in order to create a cat eye. And um, if you find the color is not saturated enough, just go in again and add a little bit. If you want the wing to start from the front, start there. But this is the eye look that I normally do. If you find the bottom is too strong for you, shade it out, bring it in. Do whatever you feel, but that's just a tip for you that I start from the bottom. I just find it gives me a nice cat eye. So once you've done that, it's time to grab any fluffy brush and just brush off that baking powder. And then I just put it on my face as well because obviously there's gonna be residue on there. Guys, I've recently got an eye pencil by Hourglass. This one is called Arc Brow Sculpting Pencil in Platinum Blonde because I'm blonde. And um, it's got a really, really beautiful brush which allows for easy upward eyebrow brushing and the easiest applicator I've ever used. As you can see, it's kind of tilted to the side and you just go in and fill in your brows. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Ooh, I'm looking like Madonna from a Vogue video. So once the brows are done, I go in and I set them with the 24 hour setter from Benefit when I can open it. You know with things that are like gluish style products? Be damned if you open them. So you get the spoolie and I just like to brush the brow up because that's the look I like at the moment. It's a bit more fashion and a bit more unruly. So now your brows aren't gonna move. 
I got this tip about mascara from Lydia Elise Millen. I know a lot of you watch her as well. The Volume Million Lashes and the False Lash Wing Sculpting Mascara together create a really big lash, which I love. But before I do the lash, I get the Maybelline Master Chrome and I go in with my pinky. I get a bit of that gold and I just dab it in the corner of my eye. I've been doing this look since day dot and I just really, really love it. I feel like it gives you a beautiful pop to your eyes. So first you go in with the gold one. It's the Million Volume Lash and it's just got a really nice applicator. And you go in, in one of your eyes. And I normally curl my eyelash a little bit, but I forgot that downstairs and I cannot be bothered to go down there. So imagine you've curled your lash and you just give it a coat of this mascara. You put this bad boy away and then you go in with this one. Now this one has fans and it's got some haters, but I'm definitely a fan. It's a really weird applicator brush, but it really gives you the effect of that big, big a lash, which I love when I'm not bothered to wear a false lash, which to be honest is rare that I'm bothered to wear a false lash. So, so that is the eyes done. As for the bronzer, I've been using this glam bronze by L'Oreal. Um, it's called La Terra. I've got a big old brush. I used to use the Benefit, which I always loved, and then I used the Chanel. But right now, I just want to be all bronzed up and not necessarily contoured, so I get some of that on there. And I just really loosely go in in the areas that the sun would naturally hit, and I'm really loving this look. I know that it's all about the, um, wow, the sculpting at the moment, but I'm just like loving the sun-kissed look and I go in on the nose with the last brush like that and if you guys want to shorten your nose just go in under can you see it's shorter <laughs> so I just give a sploosh of that everywhere and then then for blush we're gonna go in with the love cloud by Mac my favorite blush of all time is just so pink and so pretty I really like to take my blush up I don't know if it's conventional I take it up from the brow too I think it just brings the whole look together. That is my honest and real opinion. And then if you really want to be extra like me, you go bam, bam, bam on the nose and face. It just brings it all together in this beautiful amalgam. The Master Chrome by Maybelline, I also use as my highlighter at the moment. So it's all about the balance and it really complements that dot you did in the eye earlier. So boom, you just go up above the cheek. Remember a little bit on the nose, and a little bit on the lip and up here. Because what you're doing is you're highlighting the parts that pop out and really stand out, girls. Then, last two steps, lip liner. Anyone will do. I'm just pick this one up by Kylie at the moment. It's the Candy K by Kylie. I go under the lip here. And up here. And I like to just bring it in so it just gives that overall lip color on the lip. And why not use some Shumera? I use all different lip products all the time, but this one is Shumera in Lac Supreme in this pink color. And I'm just gonna, you know, add a bit of color. Okay guys, so that was this color. What color is it? BG05 in a Lac Supreme by Shu Omera. That's a really pretty pink shade. Actually, that's my first time using it. So, guys, that is my look. That's what I do. Setting spray wise, NYX Dewy Finish. When you use a setting spray, spray it, don't move your face because it's gonna set it that way. The point is to just blend all that makeup together and amalgamate it in this beautiful formation. Now, let me give you some <coughs> wisdom before I leave you for today. I gave you some makeup, so we made ourselves beautiful when we're creating a beautiful life, and I also wanna give you some wisdom. Now, I wanna give credit where credit is due because 